First, we got Buffer's Quester. It sounds amazing, good. We ain't even started it. Oh, okay. Guess we're gonna find out together then. I don't think I've ever heard them. Unless I'm forgetting them. It's okay. It's Mr. Penguin's turn next anyway, sir. Because he hasn't had a turn yet, sir. Oh man, female growler, let's go! Ooh, fuck man! Where'd you find this bands, man? How are we a dreamer? It's because they'll have another time, this one. Those drums hit fucking hard, man. Holy shit, man. This has to be like the fifth rotation, by the way. Yo, man, the mixing is fire, man. Holy shit. I was like, I'm still promising when I was standing there, so I get them. Oh, yeah, they really found their sound after. I can't imagine what they would have sounded like back then, man, but. But, however, am I gonna choose some arbitrary winners to go to some imaginary prize that you won't fulfill even if you do spend a whole year playing the stupid game on the channel? How will I ever choose, man? Holy shit. This whole stream basically has been nothing but flames for the most part. It's fucking craziness, man. <clears throat> But yeah, let's see. Let's go into the lyrics. Oh, the lyrics has amazing as the music. I hope so, to be honest, but even if not, it doesn't matter. The music is fucking craziness, man. The mixing is top tier, man. Top tier mixing. Like, the drums feel like they're, they're heavy, you know what I mean? They feel like they're wanting to stamp on your face. It's kind of crazy. See, in a time long past, a realm of blissful light. A world so pure and bright. A divine utopia bestowed by gods above. Paradise of Innocence, where man lived beneath golden skies. Like, the golden skies are the ones of God's right, you know, where he had, like, Mount Olympus as an example, and probably a few of this throughout human history. A time when man went, were free from pain, among the gods without strain. For a hundred years and more, with grace, they roamed the earth with gentle spirits, righteous from their birth. Like, yeah. Like, it's almost like this is, like, a legit deity looking upon um, just the planet. And seeing how humans are, how they interact with their own gods, and so on. As I wander through this age of light, I see the wonders of man and gods alike. No battles, no wars, no hatred to be found. Under the rule of the master of time. Taking a final breath and closing their eyes, the spirits of man ascend. Uh, then we're then, then leaving their mortal show after this point, and it's interesting. It's a very interesting concept. This is the first song, technically, so we're kind of like getting the... Where it is, we're seeing how humanity coexists with their, with their gods, with themselves, with how they perceive things. And now we're going beyond that point, beyond life itself, and into whatever comes next, which is very fucking interesting. Anyways. <laughs> No, a nice little peaceful bit. 
It's not going to last and be peaceful, though. <laughs> You're funny. Oh, this is nice, man. This blend is sick, man. Her vocals are fire too, man. Her black mouth style and fierce vocals are sick. It's almost got that end different vibe in the back. Like a little bit. We so have to do this album at some point, man. We kinda have to. This is crazy, man. This is top tier shit, man. That was amazing. That was gorgeous. That was every word to describe it. That's positive, man. That was amazing. Uh, <laughs> that's fucking funny. <laughs> Not everyone has an OnlyFans and has that money like you do, Scott. <laughs> uh, that's fucking amazing. <laughs> uh, that's true. Anyways, um. Oh man. Uh, let's see. Okay, so the spirits of man ascend, transcending the veil of life and death. And leaving behind the ancient mortal cell. Shell, even. The guiding life through the dark, shaping the fate of man. A voice that spoke of it. It's almost like the going into the force, man. You know how the force works, where you can manipulate it to kind of still be conscious after death. You know, where you can control the midichlorians enough to kind of still have, like, a soul shot. In which you can control and speak to people who are still alive in that kind of a way. They're using it to influence fate, to influence man itself, to kind of lay the path forward, in a sense. Uh, a voice that spoke of fate, a prophecy he would not escape. As I wander through this age of light, I see the wonders of man and gods alike. As I wander through this beauty untold, I see the wonders a sight to behold. Like this age of light, which must mean there must be, it must have been an age of darkness. So the age of light is what I'm guessing is the big bang. Is the big bang afterwards? The age of darkness must be, must be before that. You know, where it's like an it's an eternal, infinite being, watching over everything and seeing the whole cosmos as like a tiny spectrum onto itself like that's the kind of vibe i'm getting from it it's got that kind of majesty behind it like in terms of like lyrically speaking like musically speaking it's like the mixing thing incredible those drums hit man like there's only one band that i can think of that do drums like this and that is of course disembodied tyrant and sinestria those are the only drums i can think of that are that clean that deep that dark that powerful just i don't know man just crazy and her vocals her black metal range the way she's growling like it's it's perfect like it suits it perfectly it's got passion she's got rage she's got feelings she has little manipulations in there that add to the way she's trying to manipulate well while, while, while the way the music is moving and working and it's crazy all the little intricacies are just like damn man just shit that 
you only find once in a while. Like that, you barely ever find them. And it's hard to find bands that are this fucking good and this fucking talented. But yeah, it's just one song, so I'm not gonna like count my chickens or whatever the fuck they say. Anyways, thank you.